Uh, so hey guys, uh, so this will be the final video uh, for our trial program. So first of all, uh, right now we have when we play the game directly the tank is spawning, right? Uh, but we want a selection UI panel where when we start the game, the user has to select a particular tank and then that particular particular tank will get spawned. Okay, so I will show you how to do that. First of all, you will find a lobby UI already created inside of folders of prefab. Okay, our scale team will provide you this lobby UI because as the purpose of this trial program is not to teach the UI concepts, uh, it is more sort of code architectural program. Uh, so we have created this simple UI for you. This is nothing but a three buttons. If, if I play it, uh, I will quickly show you what is this. Uh, ignore about the tank uh, that has spawned uh, bef uh, behind. So these are nothing but three buttons. Now we will add a functionality to these buttons in the video. Okay, I will quickly show you how. So first of all, save the scene and I hope you have dragged and dropped the lobby UI in the hierarchy. Just expand it. Then you will see skin selection panel. Okay, inside the skin selection panel, there will be three buttons. So I will quickly show you how to code for a one button that is blue tank skin button. If you double click on it and I just want to have a 2D view for the scene. So I just toggle toggle between 3D and 2D. So right now if I double click on it, uh, this button is selected. So there is something called as on click. You need to hit plus icon. <clears throat> Sorry, my bad. You need to fl plus icon. Uh, you need to hit the plus icon uh, below the on click. So this on click uh, is asking for a game object with uh, which is having a script. So for this selection, we will write a simple script, a uh, simple new script. So I will click on the script, right click on it, then create C sharp script and I will call it as a tank selection. Okay, tank selection, that's great. Mm. It's loading. Now click on the lobby UI and hit on the open. Inside the parent object, okay, inside the parent object, top most object, click on it and add a component and click on the tank selection. Now our script is attached to our prefab. Okay. Now double click on the script. Script will open. I need a reference. I need a reference inside this script. Uh, but yeah, first of all, I will keep it simple. I will just remove it. I don't want it. I need three public functions to add the functionality for the three, uh, three tanks. Okay. So public void. Uh, blue tank selected okay if blue tank selected this functionality will get triggered i will show you how similarly i am copy and pasting blue tank selected green tank selected and red tank selected make sure that your names are different otherwise there will be compiler errors so i have added three different functionalities uh, now i am heading back to the unity so now uh, in this prefab, uh, basically you will see if you expand it, if you see a uh, blue tank skin button, if you click on the plus icon and if you drag and drop this lobby UI, why lobby UI? Because lobby UI has the script uh, of the tank, uh, tank selection. Okay. That's why I'm dragging and dropping lobby UI object under here. And then I need to select the function. Tank selection is the name of the script that we just created. And I am coding this for blue tank. So I will be just setting up uh, blue tank selected as simple as that. Now the functionality that we have added here is now binded uh, with the with that button. I will quickly show you debug dot log blue tank selected. Okay. So I have just added log for testing. So what I did simply I just uh, I just go to the lobby UI prefab. I, I click on the open U, uh, open prefab. Then I click on the lobby UI under that blue tank skin button under, under that I just hit on the plus. Then I dragged and dropped the lobby UI. And after that I'm selecting the tank selection and then blue tank selected as simple as that. Now let's quickly test out. Uh, I will just move my head here so we can see the console. So I'm hitting the play button. So if I'm clicking, 
the blue tank, you will see the console log. That means our functionality is added. So I just want to write a logic uh, when I'm clicking on the blue tank, that time only our tank is getting spawned and before that the tank will not get spawned. So how to do that? First of all, go to the tank spawner. First of all, remove this line. Because of this line, the tank is getting spawned uh, immediately after the play button. So I'm removing it. Okay. So uh, I need to access the tank spawner from the tank selection. Okay. How I can do it? I will simply create a public reference. Public tank spawner. Okay. Tank select. Sorry, my bad. Tank spawner. Yeah, we want a reference of a tank spawner and I will simply call it as a tank spawner. I am dragging and dropping this reference from the uh, from the inspector. So inside a tank spawner, I will make this method public instead of private and inside create tank, I will need tank type. Okay, I will need tank types and tank type. So whoever is calling this method, whoever is calling the create tank, that person, that script need to pass the type of the tank that we want to spawn. Now I will simply write a logic. If tank type, tank type, yeah, tank type is double equal to tank type dot blue tank, then I will write all the logic i will cut this i will paste this and i will come back to the unity okay now i am only doing it for one uh, one tank so observe the tank spawner uh, blue tank is at the first position okay so i am here changing it for the first first oops first and first as simple as that. Now our blue tank logic is binded with a condition. If tank type is double equal to blue tank, then only uh, the blue tank will get spawned. I will add a few more conditions like this by adding else if. I will simply copy this and I will simply paste this. If tank type is green tank, then I will be passing come back to the unity green tank is at the zeroth position so i'm just passing zero 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 and zero that's great same goes for the red tank okay so i'm just checking if the tank is blue green and red and according per that i'm accessing that element from my tank list as simple as that you can make it sequential like zero one two uh, i just uh, I just did randomly ordering doesn't matter here, but make sure that you are typing all the uh, elements properly Two, two, two should be there everywhere should be two if the tank type is red. So now let's quickly look at how to call this create create tank method. So inside a tank selection, we already have a reference of tank spawner, right? So inside blue tank selected, I will simply tell tank spawner dot create tank and inside here I will pass tank types dot blue tank as simple as that i will simply copy this line paste here and paste here and i will change this to green tank and i will change this to red tank that's it guys we are close um so what i did first of all i created a new script inside that i added three functionalities and i just had uh, i just took a one reference of the tank spawner as simple as that now i am coming back to the scene first of all yeah we need to bind the functionality we only did it for blue tank right so just like blue tank uh, you will be creating uh, you will be selecting green tank then hit on the plus uh, then lobby ui drag and drop lobby ui then no function then task allocation sorry task selection and then comes green tank where is the green tank green tank selected and control s and again i am sorry first of all i need to select the red tank skin button then plus then lobby ui drag and drop then tank selection then red tank selection uh, red tank uh, red tank selected after doing all the changes in the prefab 
okay first of all i need to click on the prefab then i need to click on the override and i need to click on the apply all okay as simple as that all the changes are now applied uh, now click on the lobby ui and go uh, go scroll down below inside a tank spawner i need to just drag and drop the tank spawner game object okay as simple as that this won't get applied don't worry about it anyways our code will work now as soon as i'm hitting a play button our game will not spawn a tank here you can see okay now game is waiting for the player to select the tank now if i'm clicking on the red tank the red tank is getting selected but you can see this uh, this weird ui is still there how to fix it i will quickly show you uh, again come back to the tank selection simply add a simple line this uh, this dot game object dot set active and false this line will just disable this entire game object okay let's quickly try it out oops i copy pasted it twice so yes i'm going back to the unity so now it's time to test our game hit on the play uh now tank uh, haven't got spawned yet so i am selecting the blue tank at the moment whenever i am clicking uh, automatically that ui is getting uh, disabled that's uh, that is what we did uh, last time in the last line okay i will quickly test for the another tanks and yes guys that's the end of the final video i will quickly tell you how to make a build in this video itself and that's great green tank is also spawned and then comes the red tank okay all good uh so congratulations for completing our game now i will quickly show you how to make a build okay click on the file click on the build settings right now these two might be deleted scenes uh, right click on it and remove selection again right click on it and remove selection uh then click on this button add open scenes okay so unity will add the current open scene scene into the build so right now we need to specify which scenes that we want to build and at the moment we want to ma uh, make a build of game uh, scene okay here you can see the game scene now it is added and you just need to click on the build as simple as that then the build will, build will start and you will have your first exe playable exe where you can play your tank where you can select the tank uh, ready with you so all the best thanks a lot for uh, thanks a lot for doing this trial till now uh, there will be a one final task the submission task i will be making a one final uh, instructive video uh, for that make sure to watch that okay thank you